A Conservative MP is taking heat tonight after an exchange in the House of Commons about sex work. Arnold Viersen's remarks were directed at an NDP MP during a debate on the federal parole system after a sex worker was allegedly killed by an inmate out on day parole. Here's what he said. Um, I would just respond to that by asking the Honourable Member across the way um, if it's a uh, area of work that she has considered and uh, if that is an appropriate... Uh, uh, okay. uh, Mr. Speaker. Mercedes Stevenson joins us now. Mercedes, that's not a good look for a party hoping to expand its base. What was the reaction? Yeah, Robin, definitely not what the Tories needed when they've been struggling with their brand following allegations of sexism and misogyny in the party. And as you can imagine, political opponents pounced on this immediately to claim that it shows what the Tories really think of women. Mr. Viersen stated that he was trying to make a point that he believes women are trafficked into sex work and that they simply do not choose it of their own free will. But backlash was immediate and Viersen apologized. Point of order, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to apologize uh, unreservedly for my comments uh, towards the uh, or towards the member from Victoria. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After question period, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh was quick to characterize the comments as sexist. I think it was uh, he was disrespectful to a fellow colleague, and that was wrong. I think his comments strike of misogyny. Global News asked the party if Viersen would be reprimanded, but they simply said the MP's unreserved apology stands. NDP MP Laurel Collins, the woman who was asked the question and the female MP at the centre of this, tweeted that she accepts Viersen's apology, but said he should extend it to all women and not denigrate sex work. All right, Mercedes, these are the kinds of challenges the next leader will have to deal with. And we have some new numbers on that race tonight. Tell us about that. Yeah, an exclusive poll for Global News shows that Peter McKay is the front runner in the Tory race, with 40% of Canadians saying that they would consider voting for the Tories under McKay's leadership. That's a significant lead, but lately McKay has been his own worst enemy. He had a tone-deaf tweet about Justin Trudeau's yoga, an abrupt end to a TV interview caught on camera, and today he backtracked on his position on Canada's embassy in Israel. McKay dissed cheer after the election, saying that the defeat was like having a breakaway on an open net and missing the net. But with this pace of missteps, he's in danger of going down the same road. Robin? Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa.